Hello dear friends uh, Today I'm gonna show you a multiplayer battle here on uh, the Salamanca province It's a uh, 3 versus 3 I like this map, I like the teamwork uh, gaming And this is a match between two clans Our clan, the hardcore And the other clan is uh, from Sparta It's uh, a training match Because we are friends with this uh, guys and uh, it was a good opportunity to test our skills and see some strategies and deployments and etc etc so here from uh, left to right is our formation this is a uh, microphone Melasco he is commanding the Prussian army and his uh, army is with three foot guts here another four totally one militia unit, th three light infantry, three musketeers here. He got uh, one hussar unit, one lancer. He got his general staff. And here there are two musketeers with two, two light infantry and one militia. So here in the center, it's me, Count Mon Monte Cristo. I'm commanding the British. And I got my foot guards here, my one foot regiment, my Connaught Rangers, and two King German Legion light foot on my left wing. Here on the center, I got two foot guards, and this is my right wing, which I have a uh, five foot infantry, three light infantry, and three militia units, and I got my general staff. Here, this is the right wing. It's uh, commanding uh, by Prince. He plays as British, and he got uh, five foot infantry here. One uh, Royal Scots Grey. He's uh, Major Major General Picton. He's uh, an historical general. He got uh, one Light Dragoon here. Another two of them totally. Five Light infantry. Two of them. There is uh, King Gemma Legion Light Foot. One. Militia unit, one foot guard, one costume guard, and another foot guard. So, from the other side, from left to right, this is the Sparta formation. Here on the left is Achilles Great which he is commanding the Prussian army he got one Bradman Ullans there foot guards, foot guards, foot guards three foot guards on and one musketeer got uh, one grenadier mm. musketeers, 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 musketeers four musketeers here five here he got one, two Light infantry, four light infantry, and one Silesian Schwenzer. He also got his general staff. Here is a uh, Larinium, has one costume guard and one foot infantry here. Foot infantry, foot, 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 five foot infantry here. He got three rifles, his general staff. And Larinium split his arm in two and he sent two rifles here to support the other two mate. And he has his Connaught Rangers, one Highland Foot, and his Black Watch over here. So this is the Targaryen. I go Targaryen from, if you know, this name is from the Game of Thrones. He was, I think, the Mad King. I'm uh, not sure. So he's commanding the Persian army. Got uh, one light infantry, two of them here. One, two foot guards up the hill. Got uh, another four. Oh, totally has six light infantry. Okay, that's no problem. Another foot guard, two musketeers with one experience each, and three musketeers here. So, as you can see, he doesn't use any calf. 
and this is the count from Knesset. Uh, no, Knesset, sometimes can't spell it. Sorry, guys, he's uh, an historical general. So, here are the first shots on the battle. So, Michael Formella uh, sent some some troops inside the this tree so this tree will prov provide him some cover he has his militia unit yet there he has his three light of tree and two musketeers behind them to support and cover them here on his left he has he his foot guards and let's go and see what is going on on the right side with prince and takis so here Prince has his five light infantry here on the edge of the map in his right wing so he is uh, confronting the the lead the lead plank of Act the Great. Oh Act had some casualties here as you can see this car is uh, fifty more fifty four men this guy is to ninety five and this guy is to 89 also he lost his grenadiers and here one thing about grenadiers if you play in, in maps with houses and the rulers are forbidden houses to occupy them I think it's not good to take uh, grenadiers because they don't have 120 men they have 90 men only and grenadiers they are very good and if you wanted to place them inside the house and defend it because they have a very good mill statistics so here I guess uh, he's going to pull uh, away his light foot because he can't uh, match against the uh, four of the bridges here so he can pull them back here on the center this is a very tricky place because uh, can you see there are some rocks around here and some two small houses and it's a uh, very diff difficult it's very tricky how to you are going to set your army here I think this is the the difficult side to to attack the other your enemy forces. So here, Larinium has his uh, rifles. He is shooting to this effaceables. So let's see his uh, line of sight. Hmm. Not bad, but yes, this light uh, militia units they are covering by the trees, so it's not easy for them to take them down. Here it's me. As you can see, I'm stationary. I am just uh, holding my line here, and I want to seek the opportunity to attack th this area to Larinium uh, British forces. Though, as you can see, with my space bar with the blue lines down the there, I have my army near to my teammate here I want to cover all this area so let's go and take a look what uh, Michael Formellas is doing so Michael is engaged in the enemy he has a very good spot here so you can see these guys that can shoot above their heads from the musketeer heads because the angle is 10 degrees up so you don't have to worry if you go going to shoot your own man so also my last has his militia unit here too and he's trying to take some shots upon these guys this project for years and this is me where I sent my light infantry here in range to take some shots off on these rifles 
and this counter agents they are taking losses as well. So meanwhile here on the left everything is quiet till now. Targaryen here is uh, holding his line. He has his uh, two light infantry with uh, four musketeers. And here is my move. As I saw that Larry was uh, retreating his uh, grounds, I took the opportunity and pressed my left wing. As you can see here, I sent my foot guards here in this uh, area. I had my two light infantry here. And here I'm gonna hit the other side let me open the minimap show you some things I send my foot guards here to the other side to hit uh, Lorinium's uh, center and here as you can see here the blue dots it's us can you see this move that we are making I am making I'm going to cut off the, the Sparta line in two so reinforcements would be very difficult to approach from uh, one side to another. So here with Larinium forces uh, taken back in the hill, I'm gonna take my foot guards and I'm gonna reinforce my center. Because uh, Larinium is doing the same, he's sending one foot and his Colstrom guards. Also he has his horse gu guards around. So, and here I'm going to distract them with my two units here, my foot guards and my foot infantry and my three light infantry. I got my reserves back here in case they will need it. Also there are my reserves here to if Narion tries to charge uh, his cavalry into my light infantry units. I'm going to pull them back into the forest. So, as you can see here, I took all my left wing here to support my center. Because I need to take down these guys and these constant guards were a big menace for my troops around here. Because these dudes, they have a very good statistics. They are similar to the old guard. And here I had to pull back my Conant Rangers. Because they were taking shots of, uh, from these rifles. So here I managed to kill one of the foot infantry of Lorinium. And I turned my left foot infantry here to take some shots up on these uh, rifles. Oh here, Larinium charged his horses to his horse guards to my foot guards, but I did make two squares here to defend my lines. So let's close the minimap. So these horses, what as you can see, they are going are. from one side to another, so, so they will take shots from um, three sides of square. So he tried to charge my light infantry units. And the horses are out of the game. So Lorinium tried to overflank my my center here by sending his uh, Alan foot black watch and uh, the Conrad rages and I uh, had my Conrad rages here to support Our my men rear are running, sir. and I said my foot guard my foot infantry here and I turned my light infantry too to confront this uh, attack from the rear
And now Larim is gonna pull back his troops. I think that was a mistake. If you try to make a, a move and you you decide to attack to enemy forces, okay, just do it. Now you see he took much casualties here without uh, giving a fire back. So Michael from Melas, he sees him. He saw what uh, is going on here and he sent two musketeers to support my lines. And uh, let's see what Melas is doing. Melas, Melas, Melas. So, Melas with his two Progen Fusiliers here, one foot guard, and two musketeers here. He is engaging the enemy. And I think he, ha he has a better position. So, here. Larinium got his forces back up in the hill. He they are cut in two. And now he is pulling back his forces into this forest to make a defense perimeter. And I'm gonna send my troops here to surround them. And I got my light infantry here shooting down these uh, rifles. Though I killed one of his rifles and they are out of the game. And let's see what Prince is doing. So Prince he's holding the Akis here. He has his fencibles here as a first line. He has his uh, light infantry behind them. And he is engaging the enemy. Akis is holding his ground up here. He retreated from the, this area to up the hill we got forces uh, inside the wood maybe there are some hidden uh, fo units here so this is the battlefield guys as you can see here this is our forces we have almost around it uh, this hill and we did the same to the other hill over here and now we are going to press our lines up in the hill so we are going to attack from uh, three sides, one here, two here, three here. And Larry now he's gonna pull his uh, forces out of this uh, ridge and he's gonna send them here in the forest. Oh, this is a mistake I think from their part cause here is a very good spot to make a defense cause you have the trees, you have the high ground. I think it's a good place to defend. It's not easy for the enemy lines to get up the hill and break the enemy lines. Let's see here. So everything is almost quite here. Prince is in a, in a standby with his uh, troops over here, and Akis is going to send down his uh, footcut line to gauge this. British dudes. And I think these uh, light infantry units, they must be out of ammunition. Because Prince, Prince is charging this light infantry to the foot guards.
So with their forces uh, surrounded and concentrate up in this uh, hill, I'm gonna send my forces up because I want to to close them around here. And when you do that, you know the the enemy lines they don't have the enough space to to open the lines. In other words, we I don't want them to give the room for maneuvers. So sure, let's take what let's see what Melas is doing here. Okay, Melas is holding his enemy. He ain't gonna move for now, cause. He knows that we are winning the battle on the other hill, so the best thing that he have to do is wait until reinforcements come. So here, Malas is going to press from the right. Prince here won the battle with the uh, Aki's great uh, foot guards, but he's going to retreat his men because he's taking shots from the British lines up in the hill. And this is my line. I am sending my friends blues here. And th here is where I did the mistake. Can you see these guys? They are shooting my men's back, and the morale is dropping. You can see my blue lines here. This is me. So I'm going to surround Antarctic and the British forces. I got Prince from the other side. Our men are running, sir. And we are going to win this battle here. So let's see what's going on here. I moved my light infantry and I sent my foot, my foot infantry here. I got my Connot ranges over there. And this is what Tagarin is trying to push his line here on the right. units has used all its ammunition, sir. So, Melas now is engaging the Targaryen. Targaryen has his uh, three musketeers here against the Prussian Fusiliers. So, Melas is going to send his foot guard behind them to support them. And Targaryen now, he's sending his two light infantry here to reinforce his lines. But here is the tricky point where that one musketeer and now Mala is sending his two foot guards, so his his uh, left wing is gonna be very strong. 
and here as you can see this foot does have a very good angle shot Till now here, but here is my. I'm gonna press my lines. Our men are running, sir. Guys, as you can see, they are shooting ground. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. And Melas here charges his general upon this uh, foot guards. General. So Targaryen is going to pull his men back because he is uh, losing the fight. Here, and Melas will will go after him. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Sir. So here up on the hill. These dudes are surrounded. There are one foot infantry here. I got my two light infantry here. They're targeting these Conrad Rogers. I got my Conrad Rogers there. They're targeting these uh, rifles. And I got my reinforcement, reinforcements coming from the other side of the map. I send my general Glorious staff here victory, also to, to support my men. And there is an attack here from uh, the enemy Persian general. So I, I did make the square here to, to defend myself. And there is one foot infantry that coming to help these units. And here is this general staff is going to target my king general left general like foot. I got my general staff, so I'm going to send him to confirm this uh, general. So Michael is going to push his uh, line over here. Out of our ammunition, these foot guards, and so they are going to charge. Their generals are now they must break. So the general they died, they died, the general died, and now they got a moral penalty. Can you see how this uh, the moral it, it is dropping?
The man of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. So that was all, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.